Welcome to Reawakening the Soul, a journey to discover and express your true nature. Hi, I'm Sundara Fawn, and today I want to talk about something that I know is essential in our life, and that is remembering our power. Power like the royal white elephant bursting with life and the energy and the wisdom and the knowledge that elephants have and the connection they have with one another. And that's so symbolic of remembering our own power. And we lose our power through incarnations, through lifetimes, through this lifetime of, of giving it away and giving it away. One of the ways is by playing a victim to your circumstances, the, you know, poor me syndrome. Oh, here it goes happening again. And, and reaffirming over and over again through your thoughts that you are weak. And if you feel this way and you feel like you are struggling in life to speak your truth and live in your power, I'm here to say that can be stopped. And with reawakening the soul, going through step by step with all these different processes from videos to coming back to who you are, guided meditations, tapping, a whole number of artistic creative ways to bring you back into reclaiming and remembering how powerful you really are. And reawakening the soul is about reawakening and aligning your will, your will with divine will. And by reuniting these and connecting them, divine will in our will. And it's really important that we look in and understand this and discern what we're being governed by, what will. And you can tell if you have a lot of will by enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the fuel to get your will moving, to take action, to step into the power of your truth, your authentic self, and reclaiming that once and for all, because you are determined to do the work that it needs to take in order to remember that you have this power latent right within your soul. But what happens is over lifetimes and over this lifetime, we're constantly covering up the soul. The soul is a beautiful diamond, a light, re just reflecting the truth and of oneness of God. And our souls are this diamond, just like this, shining and reflecting. But over from our beliefs over the years, from our beliefs and our conditionings, we're putting mud layer after layer after layer covering up the soul so the soul is no longer to express itself fully because you're so identified with the other senses that you're in the external world you're not giving the soul the breath in food and nourishment it needs it needs for you to be quiet and meditate and come back into the still stillness and the silence in that space gaining the access that unlocks the doors for the language of your soul to speak. And being in that space, you are able to hear the messages from your soul and live your life according to those messages, which is higher aligned to the truth of your being. Therefore, causing complete happiness and joy and acceptance through understanding and wisdom and through experience, experiencing yourself, your soul as God. The common, the common father, mother we all have is God. Our great creator connects all of us and bringing and stepping into this power and this truth, you empower others to do the same by who you are, by sharing your gifts, by expressing yourself in the most powerful way that you can through the wisdom of your soul 
and your heart, your authentic, absolute self, and the truth of your eternal existence as a godly being and expressing this into the world and standing in your power. You can do it. We can all do it. And when we have this and we are empowered, we want to empower others. This is our journey. And reawakening the soul is this journey where you are continuously, we, we all are together, step by step, as I'm constantly waking up, reawakening my soul every day through utilizing these cards, bringing down the information and guidance to what I need to create in order to have you come through the same experience and understanding through my artwork in whatever shape or form I can. This creating excites me. And to be able to share this creation and celebrate in this with this creation with you and with all of my friends. We came here to make and form a team, a team of partners that uplift one another and shine and share our gifts. All of our souls know we came here to do that. And when you start doing this work, your life will change, you will change, and you will never, I guarantee you, you will never go back to the old way that you were. When you get a taste of this calm, stillness, voice, and trust, the Creator creating through you, there is no going back. There's no need to, because you are complete and whole, and you know and remember that you are whole in every way and reclaiming that power of truth from the beautiful royal white elephant and standing in the truth and aligning your will with your creator's will, creating magic all around you. The magic dancing in the trees and the leaves and the sun and the bees buzzing around and the birds Reclaim your power, go create, and thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me today. Namaste.